My background working with AI has extended back a few decades because my my career has largely been in the video games industry and in the tech industry. Even if you're playing a simple game of tic-tac-toe and you're playing against a computer player, that's AI. I've been really inspired to make sure that my students are exposed to AI and to generative AI in general. That includes the class I'm focusing on now for this discussion, which is called Fundamentals of Interactive Media. So we cover everything from the internet and social networks to virtual reality in the metaverse, I was fortunate to have been made aware of a grant that the university offered through the Shipley Center. And through that grant money, I've been able to offer three different sections of the interactive media class uh, a premium subscription to ChatGPT. It gives them access to creating text videos through what's a uh, what's called Sora, which is part of that open AI suite of tools that includes ChatGPT. They also have access to Dolly, which is a an image generation tool. And early in the semester, I provide students with a list of different generative AI tools that are out there. So there are things like HeyGen, which lets you create digital avatars of yourself and lets you import scripts that can be translated into multiple languages se seamlessly. And my students just went beyond any any expectations and incorporated these additional tools in some of their projects in ways that were really uh, surprising and unexpected and extremely creative. Students are also encouraged to use these generative AI tools to create uh, mood boards and storyboards and concept art for uh, different projects that they're working on. I think it's really important that students don't feel like they're being force-fed into uh, using generative AI for everything or to see it as only good or only bad. I think that we can all agree that the impact of these generative AI tools is extremely nuanced and there are a lot of implications, especially for those of us working in the creative industries. Discernment and judgment are fundamental aspects of what I hope to get out of these explorations using generative AI. And that means, no, we don't have to 100% accept or, or believe that AI has to be used for every single thing, but to think about where can it really optimize my my uh, output and my work? Where can it help me with productivity? Generative AI is something that we ought to uh, integrate with our lives and integrate uh, in a way that makes sense and it will be a requirement of the 21st century. It, it will be a type of literacy and part of that literacy definitely includes keeping some kind of critical stance in terms of their impact.